Kat Brooks is the executive director of the Anti-Police Terror Project. Their rally and march on Sunday through downtown Oakland was to protest the killing of Tyree Nichols by Memphis police. What happened to Tyree Nichols is not an exception. It's the rule and it happens every single day in this country. This is what American policing looks like. It is time to finally admit that the way that we do public safety in this country is not working. And when I a few hundred people from around the Bay Area joined in. Well, obviously, we're here to collectively grieve Tyree Nichols' brutal murder and um, to stand in solidarity with the Memphis community. This is about a system of justice and um, uh, whether sufficient protections are in place to ensure equal justice for all Americans. The uncle of Oscar Grant, the young man who was killed by BART police, also spoke. Tyree has brought us here. Let us not just stop here. Let us take it across this country. All cops are blue. Time you put on that badge, gun, and uniform, you ain't black no more. You're an agent of the state. The 29-year-old Nichols was brutally beaten by police after a traffic stop on January 3rd. He died three days later from his injuries. According to data by the Anti-Police Terror Project, in Oakland, black motorists are eight times more likely than their white counterparts to be pulled over by law enforcement. So we're also going to say, take cops out of traffic stops. You do not need a badge and a gun to give somebody a speeding ticket. Several Bay Area police departments from San Francisco to Oakland to San Jose issued statements condemning Nichols' death. Many of those who march don't think the race of the officers is the issue at hand. I feel like it is the same. It doesn't matter if it was black police officers or white police officers. It's the people in power hurting people without power. Despite some reports of graffiti, the protests remain peaceful with no reports of arrest. In Oakland, on Sarasen, ABC 7 News.